Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. It is almost lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna sneak out of work a little bit early. I actually have a meeting with the car people that I'm gonna help do their commercial, their television commercial. So he said he wanted to meet today. He has some uh, things he wants to go over. We're gonna finalize my contract, what I'm doing for them. Um, gonna draw a small, small salary from his budget because he doesn't have a lot to work with and I'm really no professional of any kind. So um, basically what I'll be doing for them is consulting. Uh, he likes the way I do my editing and he likes the music choices I make and the cinematics that I use on my videos. So he is basically going to run this whole thing, I think, but we'll find out in a little bit. I'm headed over there now and uh, see how this meeting goes. Let's check it out. All right, that went exactly the way I thought it would. I was 100% correct. I'm going to be the overall consultant on this commercial. Gonna make a couple of bucks too for the first time. Not bad. Uh, he's written the script. He's already gone out and hired his cast and his crew. It's hard to film crew. I think it's just a bunch of local people that are much like myself. But he wants to uh, direct. Shut this off. It's making too much noise. He wants to direct. He wrote it. He wants to direct it. He's not gonna be in it. But he doesn't really understand the entire logistics of how it works so basically I'll be giving him advice on you know uh, any area that he feels he's uh, not strong enough in he's already done you know part of the harder part he's gone out and you know found himself a crew to shoot the thing and hired himself a spokesperson actress to do the dialogue so uh, I know he really wants a hand in editing because he's gonna try to edit it himself and he's not very good at musical selection. We had over a bunch of things I had to point out to him where he was going wrong. Doesn't really understand copywriting restrictions. And, and I don't know where people get this idea, but my wife said the same thing and I just always wonder. It's one of those misconceptions that everybody believes is true, but they think after a song is 20 years old that they have the right to use it openly. It becomes public domain, but it really doesn't work that way. <laughs> It, it will if nobody renews the copyright on it. If they let the copyright fall off and no one renews it, after 20 years, it'll become public domain. But if it's part of somebody's collection, part of a, an album archive, and they sell and renew the copyrights, then, you know, there is no public usage of that. So I had to explain to him, like, you know, take Michael Jackson or Bruce Springsteen or any big artist that you can think of, um, Diana Ross or Barbara Streisand, you don't really think you could take one of their songs from 20 years ago and just use it in your commercial or, you know, commercial endeavor to make money and not pay royalties to them, right? Because, I mean, yeah, we all know this. It's like, you're not going to take blue suede shoes and make a suede shoe commercial and not pay the Elvis Presley estate. It's not going to happen because they're going to sue and claim your commercial and get all the revenue for it. So, you know, it's a tremendous misconception that songs out of 20 years or older are public domain. They absolutely are not, only if the copyrights have been given up. So, you know, he had a lot of great music picked out. I mean, anyone would love to use the songs he chose without paying royalties, but, you know, it's just not going to happen. So I'm, I'm going to look up some music and give him some options and uh, I feel that my biggest part will come in in editing. I don't think he really needs me for much of anything else. He just wants the crutch and confidence. That's why I didn't really charge him a lot. And, you know, I already told him, I'm not going to edit the thing for him. He'll have to edit it. If he wants me to edit it and do all of the editing and production, post-production, then, you know, I'll have to charge him separately for that. And he was okay with that. I think he wants to see if he's going to dig himself a hole he can't get out of, but I always left him an open door, so he's pretty confident to try, which is good by me because I don't want to be responsible for much of this at all. Being a consultant just means I give you advice, and, you know, you take it or you don't. It's up to you. You're paying for it. But, you know, being in charge of the production means it's all on me, and if it doesn't come out right, then, you know, i got to pay for it to be redone. So I'm much happier with the role I'm playing currently. So with that being the case... 
I gotta hustle my ass up back to the house because uh, if I don't get there in the next five minutes, I'm gonna be late back from lunch. And you know, they're all over me for every petty thing to begin with. So let's uh, concentrate on getting back to the house. Good job, huh? This is how the porch came out. The final finished product. Looking pretty good, huh? There's my wife's fairy garden back there. All her little Nomi accessories. Have the barbecue back here. Pretty good. As you can see, turned out to be a pretty crappy day out. Not quite sure I'm going to be able to do much bike riding in this uh, particular weather. Not pretty sure I'd want to, if you know what I mean. Do a little barbecue for dinner. I'm gonna go vote in a little bit, but definitely uh, a little too much rain to enjoy any kind of outside activity. Although I do have to say it saved me from mowing my lawn, which I didn't really want to do today, so I don't care. Anywho, let's see if we can find something to do, but. Incredible, incredible job on the fairy garden, right? I mean, them things are cool. My wife's bought some really nice looking stuff. And of course, she loves having her dragon. And she has a dragon queen that's not out because I have to move that shelf underneath right there. But I've just been damn lazy with all the other stuff I've been doing. So definitely moving a shelf this weekend. Going to make it happen. But that's the fairy garden. Incredibly boring out it is today. All this rain, lack of sunshine. I could even deal without the lack of sunshine. I just wish I was able to get outside. It's one of the drawbacks to working at home. When you can't get out, it becomes very disheartening because, you know, I just spent 10, 12 hours boring ass time sitting in my office. I just need to get out and stretch now for at least, you know, an hour would be nice. And most nights you can usually squeeze that in, but definitely not happen tonight. As you see, rain is just relentless and not giving me a moment's peace. I gotta find something to do. I'm out here in the garage. I mean, I could work out, but my arms are a little sore. In all honesty, my arms are a little sore from that uh, long trip to Tennessee and back. That wears on certain parts of your body more than others, and uh, right leg sciatica and two arms locked in the old robotic driving position for 12, 10 hours at a time. Yeah, it's like I lifted weights for a week straight without stopping. That's how my arms feel at the moment. So, probably not looking to get into any pull ups and chin ups and calisthenics and all that fun stuff. I mean, I got the rest of the week to do my three days. Probably do that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because I'm just not motivated at the moment. And driving kicks your ass. Not when you're doing it, <laughs> after, when it's over. For me, when I get home and all the driving is done and, you know, I'm back in my own place, like a day or two later, man, I am just wiped. I try not to let it catch up, but it's not uh, as easy as it sounds. Even though I've been home and trying to rest, I've been doing a lot of running around and that meeting today and... <laughs> still in general just man, feel tired feel like I went 18 rounds with the car so anyway I can't clean up my garage I'm already on top of that it's pretty clean really don't want to pull out the uh, paper shredder I mean I ain't that freaking bored yet but I'm wander back into the house maybe I can find something to do or someone to bug in there that'll make me happy you know I'm equally as happy when I have somebody to bug so let's see what I can find So I started thinking about it, and I said to myself, you know, whatever happens when you get older, you don't want to go out in the rain, you hate to be out in the cold, everything starts bothering you. I said, do I really want to be one of those old guys that I'm afraid I'm going to melt if I go outside for some reason? Like it's a big deal just because it's raining? <clears throat> I remember when I was a little kid, it didn't matter, rain, sleet, snow, shine, cold, hot, any day of the week I was outside so 
one of my new things that I'm going to try to do is just always think about what I used to do when I was much younger. What I worry about, is it raining? Would I stay inside just because the weather isn't so great out? I think fucking not. So, you know, keeping in that spirit, I decided tonight, rain and shine, I'm going to come out. Now, of course, when I was a much younger man, I wouldn't be carrying a polka-dotted umbrella. But I'm much more uh, flamboyant today than I used to be back then. And a lot more courageous. I don't really care what people think. I probably did back then when you're a kid. I mean, let's face it. You're always worried about what other people think and, you know, you're impressionable and you want to fit in. But today, I really don't care. Carry the umbrella, not so much not to get wet, because I actually think running in the rain is part of the biggest fun of it. But, you know, camera. Camera equipment that isn't weather sealed doesn't do well, like the handheld I'm using right here. And even camera equipment that is sealed doesn't do well. I mean, I have my stuff that I take out on shoots, and, you know, the part I hate the most is coming home and having to clean all that shit whether it's weather sealed or not. Huh, there's my tail again. I'm trying to keep it to the back so it's not as annoying for you guys as it is, but. Anyway, thought I'd just, uh, no matter what, get my ass out, get my walk in. I mean, I had plenty of exercise on the trip. Graceland was uh, uphill, downhill. That was pretty cool. I haven't been outside in the rain in, my God, I can't even remember how long it's been. Way too long, man. Way too long. That was a lot of fun. Went out, splashed around like a little kid, and I don't know, maybe it wakes up something inside of you that keeps you young at heart at least, you know, but I had a good time. And I got my exercise in, and I got my cabin fever off my back. Oh, wow, I'm looking across my garage. It looks like uh, one of my wall ladders are about to take a tumble. Probably should take care of that. Maybe, no, no, not in the mood to really go over there and do that, but I guess I will when this is over. Anywho, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Let's see, uh, just a regular day of work. My boss is leaving early, so that's always good. Mm, Thursday coming up, I got to work from the office, so maybe I'll sneak you guys in with me and show you what's going on there. That's always fun. We've moved up to the third floor. Actually back to the area where I first trained when I first started working there, which is a really usually quiet section, so I don't know. I think they may have moved everybody into that one part of the building. If they did, then this, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real interesting to see what's going on. The people I work with are quite colorful, I'll put it to you like that. Very outspoken and um, animated. Yeah, let's say that. Very animated and outspoken, which makes for an interesting day. Like last time we were there, I was sitting in an area next to my supervisor, which I will be again, but she's off until mm, next Tuesday, so almost for a week. So people become more of themselves, and I'm no longer with the pharmacist crew. That's where I was sitting last time with all the pharmacist crew people. So those guys are pretty dry too, but guys and gals alike. So I'll sneak you in there anyway. What the hell? What do I care? They're always mad about something. It, it, it should make for an interesting day. And maybe we'll go by and see my son afterwards and check on him and the dog. Well, that's a sign from above. Production saying it's time to wrap it up. So, y'all know how we do it. Comment, like, subscribe. If you've been watching, the numbers are going up. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome. Again, love all you guys that have been with me forever. But... We're pushing closer to that magic number that'll put me in that lake, so tell your friends, tell their friends, hit that subscribe button, it's right down there, hit it, hit it over and over, if it doesn't go over there, hit it over there, but do it and you'll see me in there, but until then, love ya, see y'all tomorrow, and thank you for all your subscriptions.